What's up guys, it's Marius from Audio Judgment and today we are going to build a floor standing speaker. A good one. So you probably clicked on this video hoping to find a montage of someone building a speaker with uh, maybe some music on the background. Well, if you did that, uh, you came to the right place. But first, I want to share some of my opinions about this speaker. Then you'll see me build it. And uh, at the end, uh, we will have a listening session. The problem with this is that you were going to hear it through your speaker. So I don't see the point in it. But people kind of demand it. They see you build something. They want to see how it performs. I don't know. But let's head back to our speaker. So we have an MTM floor standing speaker using two SAS CA18 RNX midwoofers and a Morel CAT 408 tweeter. And if you look at the frequency response of the end result, we can see that it's perfectly flat. Uh, we can see that it uh, roll offs at uh, around uh, 60 Hertz. So you could uh, use a subwoofer if you want to, to hit the very low notes, like 20, 30 Hertz. But anyway, you are probably going to place it in your living room, so high chance you are going to place it close to a wall, which will amplify the bass. So mm, it's kind of optional. Regarding the sound quality, it has great dynamics, great power handling, low distortion. It, it sounds awesome. You have to hear this thing. Uh, what I also like about this speaker is that it's quite narrow, it, it looks proportionate, I like how it looks. And uh, most of the time if you look at a narrow baffle, you think to yourself, man, this will have some diffraction issues, because that is a caveat of a narrow baffle. But in this case, the crossover guts has been good to me. If you look at the crossover design, you can see that it only has a third order filter on the tweeter and a second order filter on, a, on the mid-base driver. No baffle step compensation, no attenuation pad, nothing. This crossover is as simple as it gets and it shows in how it sounds. So if you want to build this thing, you will find in the description of this video a link to my website where you will find all the panel dimensions, the list of items that you need, and the crossover design and all the instructions that you need to build this thing. So that is pretty much it. So let's watch how I built it.
Thank you.